Hello, neighbors. I'm Bill Hoyle from Clemens Presbyterian Church. We're reading through the Gospel of John as we await the uh, resurrection of Jesus' great celebration on Easter. So today, we're reading chapter 10, the first 21 verses. <clears throat> Jesus has uh, healed a man born blind in chapter 9, and the repercussions of this healing on the Sabbath continue. And he is uh, teaching, and there are even some editorial comments from John here in today's reading. So, John chapter 10, verses 1 through 21, the reading for the day. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, Anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold, I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from the Father. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, He has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Amen. Good question. Jesus made some bold statements about who he was and, and what the Father expected from him. What the Father expects from us, we believe, is to be a good neighbor to love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
sometimes that's not easy. We want to reach out and <clears throat> give people a hug and tell them how much we miss them. We're going to have to do that in this way, over the telephone, maybe in a letter or card, a text message, a Facebook post, or a, a tweet. That's not my most uh, comfortable way of reaching out. But to be a good neighbor and to care for people, we need to practice this sort of social distancing, hand washing, uh, taking care, being smart. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., you can go to YouTube and visit the Clemens Presbyterian YouTube page. And we'll have a brief worship service where we can share together some of our Presbyterian Reformed worship. YouTube, Clemens Presbyterian. Come join us at 10. Uh, Jody will be there. I'll be there. Alan Cooper will be singing. We, uh, we invite everyone. So invite your friends if you like. We hope to offer a word of hope, to pray together, Hear Alan sing a word of encouragement. For God does love us. And we love God. And we love you. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen.